Hello, welcome to the video on scientific notation. This will be a lesson on this topic. A few things before we get started. Scientific notation involves working with powers and exponents. Okay, so you want to master the properties and rules. So that's really important. And the second thing is, it's a good idea to have a good calculator with you. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our objectives. First thing I want to do is define scientific notation. Then we're going to learn how to write numbers into scientific notation form, and then we're going to do the reverse of that. Write numbers that are already in scientific notation back into their original form. We call that decimal form. And then we're going to perform some operations with numbers in scientific notation. So let's go ahead and get started here and answer the question, what is scientific notation? Well, if you look at the root words here, scientific and notation, Notation kind of indicates some sort of language or, or uh, words, if you will. And then, of course, scientific means science. So we're talking about the language of science. And the language of science is mathematics. But let's think about the kind of numbers you deal with, deal with in science, nat the natural sciences, if you will. You probably deal with some very, very large numbers or very, very small numbers. Okay? Take a look at astronomy, for example. This might be the distance to some far off star. Okay. Now, if I had to work with this number and multiply it by other numbers like this, I would not get anything done because I'd be wasting my time um, writing out the numbers. Okay. So there's got to be a better way to handle some very um, large numbers and very small numbers that we deal with in science. And a better way is what we're going to learn in this lesson, and that's scientific notation. And it involves the power of 10. Okay, so that's going to be some number times 10 to some power. Okay, here I'll just put 7, for example. But a number that looks like this, you're going to see, is a number in scientific notation. Much easier to deal with than this number, which we call in decimal form. All right, so let's go ahead and learn how to write a number in scientific notation. So I got two numbers here. One semi-large, not too difficult, 12,860, but, um, but we'll use that as our large number. And then here I have a small number. So let's learn how to write these numbers into scientific notation. All right, I'll start with the large number first. Now let me ask you here, where is the decimal point on the number 12,860? Where is the decimal point located at? Okay, all of you should have stated that the decimal point is located after that last zero, okay, point zero. But typically, we don't write that decimal point, but it's important that you know where it's at. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is to move that decimal point. All right, you can move it anywhere you like along this number. Okay, you can't move the digits, but move that decimal point to form a new number that's between 1 and 10. Okay, where would you move that decimal point? Well, you should move the decimal point here, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Because now the new number would be 1.2860, okay? So you see what I did? I just formed a new number using the same digits, and I didn't move the digits. I just moved the decimal point. Now I have a number between 1 and 10. So that's the first thing you want to do in scientific notation. Move the decimal point to form a new number between 1 and 10. Okay. The second thing I'm going to do is multiply that new number, okay, by just writing out a times 10, and it's going to be 10 to some power. I'm just going to put a circle up here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, determine what the power of 10 is. Okay, we're almost done, so this is not difficult to do. To determine the power of 10, what you need to do is count how many spaces, or digits, if you will, um, that you move the decimal point to form that new number between 1 and 10. So in other words, how many places did you have to move the decimal point uh, from its original location here to here? Okay, well, we moved it 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, guess what? That's the power of 10. It's going to be a positive 4. Now, I want you to take note of something that's very important here. If you had to move the decimal point to the left, okay, the power will be positive. Okay, it's very important. And guess what? We're done. 
All right, 1.286, and you can actually even drop this zero, times 10 to the fourth power is equivalent to 12,860. Okay, the difference is 1.286 times 10 to the fourth is a number in scientific notation form. And it makes sense. Okay, if I ask you to simplify this, you would say, okay, 10 to the 